can see one problem. Calculate the polarity of the solution in which five grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 450 ml so this is very very important problem calculate the molarity of the solution in which 5 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 450 ml solution now we can see this problem here in this one weight of sodium hydroxide is given as 5 5 grams and molar mass of sodium hydroxide can be calculated by here the atomic weight of sodium is 23 plus oxygen is 16 plus 1 so this comes as 40 grams per mole and the volume of solution is given as 450 ml you can substitute these values Weight of solute is given by 5 by molar mass. How much we got? 40 into 1000 by 450. By simplification, we can get 0.278 m. Here, manaki, a manado, 5 gram la sodium hydroxide ni. 450 ml dravanam lo karigin chaga air pade dravanam yukka molarity ni lekkin chandi and manak problem hi chadu. Dint lo sodium hydroxide bharam manak hi chadu. We know the formula of sodium hydroxide. Manak sodium hydroxide formula telsu. So that is what? Sodium di 23 paravanu bharam hu. Oxygen di padaharu plus hydrogen di 1. E mode di kalpinate lethe manak 40 grams per mole us thundi. Volume manak problem lo hi chadu. E values manak substitute jeshtet lethe lethe we can get. Manak always good to bet kondi. मनक प्राब्लम इच्छिन अपडू, आ प्राब्लम सम्मन इच्छिन अपडू, फार्मुला रायंड, कच्ची तंग रायंड, तो इस फार्मुला की कच्ची तंग, मनक वन मार्क कोटू, तो मनक इस प्राब्लम में, इस क्वेश्चन इलावस तुन अंटे, define molarity, and one problem is given like this, आ definition की वन मार्क कोटू Tarata, e correct answer is substitution in the Gulfi Tarata 2 marks. Manaki e Takanga Manako 4 marks. Is so Kapchitanga, it is very, very simple and we can get easily we can get 4 marks. Molarity of the solution. In the molarity, we have seen about the number of moles per liter. Number of moles of solute per liter. Solution is called as what's molarity? Now, molality means here we have to take in the weight of a solvent kilograms. Now we can see here the number of moles of solute, the number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent is called as molality of the solute. Okay, kilogram dravanilu karigi yunna dravita mola sankhyanu. Molality and end. in a small m. <coughs> so this is given by m is equals to number of moles of solute by weight of solvent. In K. Here, we know very well number of moles means what? 
weight by molecular weight or molar mass into 1000 by weight of solvent in grams. Here, this is given by what? For molality. So, for example, if you take when capital M is molarity, small m is molality. When m is equal to 1, then that solution is called as 1 molar solution. When small m is equal to 1, then it is called as 1 molar solution. Here, to say that, one dravanilo, one kilogram dravanilo, karegi yunna dravita molla sanchanu, molality and yant. Right? Okay, well, one dravanam yuka molality one in atlete, that is, then I'm going to, one molal dravanam and yant. And then molality one in atlete, one molar solution. So, Dean Penegur Manaku problem was Dean Manai, we can write this is also write, written as W2 by M2 1000 by always 2 stands for uh, solute and 1 stands for solvent. W2 and the weight of uh, solute, capital M2 indicates the molar mass of the or molecular weight of the. Now we can see one problem. Calculate the molality of a solution in which 2.5 grams of Ethanoic acid <coughs> sold in seventy five grams of yet calculate the molality of the solution in which two point five grams of ethanoic acid is dissolved in seventy five grams. So here weight of ethanoic acid is given. Ethanoic acid means acetic acid. It is given by W2. How much? 2.5 grams. So, molar mass or molecular weight, mom mass, that is the molar mass of ethanoic acid means what here? pH 3 OH given by M2. How many carbons are there? 1 and 2 carbons are there. 2 into 12 plus 4 uh, hydrogens are there. 4 into 1 plus 2 oxygens are there. So this comes as 24 plus 4 32. So while doing this calculation, just you can go to third class in your mind and just you do here. By that, we cannot uh, commit mistake. It takes 3 to 4 seconds extra time, but we can get correct answer. So, this is coming as 60 grams per mole. And here, what is given here? Weight of benzene. Here, benzene here, what is that here? Solvent. It is given by W1, that is uh, how much it is? 75 grams. You substitute this equation. W2 is how much? 2.5 by molar mass of uh, this one. Acetic acid is given as 50 grams. 1000 by 75. And this comes as 0. 0.55. So, very simple here, it is very important problem here. The calculate the molality of the solution in which 2.5 grams of ethanoic acid is dissolved in 75 grams. So, 75 grams of benzene low, 2.5 grams of 
कोई कैसिलिटी इसकी कामना नहीं करेगी आज द्रावण में तो फैसिलिटी है तो इतने एसिड वेस्ट तेलस बना को इतने कैसे नथिंग बट एसिडिक एसिड इन एक फार्मूला है एंटी CH3 COOH दैट इज गिवन दैट इज कमिंग एज अ 60 ग्राम्स पर मोल एंड वेट ऑफ बेंजीन इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम बाय सब्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ ऑल दीस थिंग्स वेल दिस इज अबाउट द मोलारिटी सो मन के एग्जांपल लो कच्चीतंगा गुड़ा मोलारिटी डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम लेदा मोलारिटी डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम लेदा समटाइम्स वी कैन गेट मोल फ्रैक्शन एंड आल्सो वन प्रॉब्लम वी कैन गेट वी कैन डू वी कैन सी दैट now we can see mole fraction this is given by in the subject books given as a small x capital x here mole fraction the ratio of number of moles of one component to the total number of moles of All the components of a solution called as mole fraction of that component. Okay, dravanam lo, okay, anugatha kam yuktha mola sanchaku. Dravanam lo ni anni anugatha kala muttam mola sanchaku gala nishpatti ni a anugatha kam yuktha mol bhaga mani antar. So, for example, if there are n one moles. of solvent and n2 moles of uh, solute is present in it so what is that meaning n2 moles of solute is dissolved in n1 moles of uh, solvent then mole fraction of solvent is given by n1 by n1 plus a And mole fraction of solute is given by x2 is equals n2 by n1 plus. Now, always, for example, if you took here x1 plus x2 is equals to n1 by n1 plus n plus n2 by n1 plus n, comes as n2 plus n1 by n1 plus n. So this come this once once it goes. So always you can remember that x one plus x two equal to one. Here this is very very important. So always so if we calculate one fraction of one component, then automatically you can know the other uh, mole fraction, mole fraction of the other uh, what component. Now, you can see one problem. Calculate the mole fraction of. In this chapter, we can expect two two, two marks questions. That is, definitions of Hendy's law. In the Hendy's law, here the partial pressure of the gas in vapor phase. is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the gas the solute here the partial pressure of the gas in vapor phase is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the gas in the present so this is given by p is equals to kh x where kh is called as in this law constant this p is partial pressure of the gas in vapor phase this x is mole fraction of the right this is like y is equal to mx straight line y is equal to mx this is a partial pressure here mole fraction you can get a straight line which is going to the origin the slope is given by definitely we can get the definition of
crowds now. <coughs> this is also asked for two marks. Here, the relative lowering of vapor pressure of a dilute solution with a non volatile solute is equal to the mole fraction of the solute. So the relative lowering of vapor pressure of a dilute solution with a non volatile solute is equal to the mole fraction. And also we can define like this. Here, Oka, Pilina Dravanam lo, Abashpashila Dravita ne karigin napudu. A dravanam yukka, sapeksha bashpa pidana nimnata, dravitam yukka mol bhagranikis. So this is given by equation P1 naught minus P1 by P1 naught is equal to. Here, the Raoult's law tells about what the relation between the relative lowering of vapor pressure and the mole fraction of the solution. Right? And this can also be defined as if the partial pressure of a component of any solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction of the solution. And this is given by P1 is equal to P1 naught A. So generally, we can do like this. And if you compare the Hendy's constant, Hendy's law and constant, and here this one, here the Hendy's constant is approximately equal to this P1 naught here. Now, we can see the, the terms which are present in this one. The P1 naught is what the vapor pressure, the vapor pressure of what pure solvent. Here, P1 is Vapor pressure of the solution. P one not now we can we can say that here the partial vapor pressure of a component in a solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction. And this is two types of definitions are there for the Raoult's law. It is very very important for two marks. The properties which depend only on the number of particles of solute are called as Alligative properties. Okay, Dravanam Loni Dravitam Yukka Kanala Sankhya Paina Matrame Adhara Pade Dharmalanu Kanadhara Dharmalu. The name itself telling Kanadhara. So they depend on particles. Of what? So the properties which depend only on the number of particles of solute. These colligative properties are four. What are they? Relative lowering vapor pressure. Tapeksha bashpa pedana nimata. Tapeksha bashpa pedana. Second one. Elevation in boiling point. Elevation. Boiling point. Vashpi Bhavanasthana Unna. Vashpi Bhavanasthana Unna. Next, depression in freezing point. Depression in point. Here, this is what Hani Bhavanasthana means. Number four, osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure. So, these four properties are called as what? Colligative properties. First, we can see about the relative lowering. So, in this, what can we expect for four mark question? Is, what is relative lowering of vapor pressure? And how do we determine? How do we determine the molar mass of a this is generally asking question for four. Now we can see that. 
here for example p1 not is called as vapor pressure of pure solvent p1 is called as vapor pressure of solution always p1 not is greater than p and this p1 not minus p1 is called as lowering of vapor pressure and when this lowering of vapor pressure is divided by the vapor pressure of pure solvent then we can get relative lowering of vapor pressure so p1 not minus p1 by p1 not is given by relative lowering of vapor pressure sapeksha bashpa pedana ninnata what is that here we can define the ratio of lowering a vapor pressure to the vapor pressure of pure solvent of a solution is called as relative lowering so the ratio of lowering of vapor pressure to the vapor pressure of pure solvent is called as what relative lowering of ante bashpa pedana nimnatanu बाष्प पीड़न निम्नत को शुद्ध द्रावण युक्त बाष्प पीड़ना की गल निष्पत्ति सापेक्ष बाष्प पीड़न नौ वी कैन सी हाउ वी डिटर्म दि मोलार आफ ए सोल्यूशन विद हेल्प आफ रिटिव प्रेसर टोटल मन ने अड़े so with the help of relative lowering of vapor pressure how how do we determine how do we determine the molar mass of a solution we can see here according to raoult's law just now we have seen p1 not minus p1 by p1 not is equal to raoult's law is for uh, dilute solutions a non volatile solution here we know x2 is what mole fraction of solute it is given by n2 by n1 plus n and this is a dilute solution and hence we can write it as n2 is far less than n1 n2 is far less than ante n1 value to polichinatlayite n2 value chala takku ga untundi deentlo chedravana so kabatti is n n2 will be neglected in the denominator and we can write x2 is equals to n2 by n1 we can substitute here p1 not minus by p1 not equals to n2 by and we know that n2 is equal to what number of moles of solute and n1 is नंबर ऑफ मोल इनटू एम होती है तावीता मोल संख्या इन वन एम होती है तावनी मोल संख्या तो नाउ वी कैन राइट इन वन इज़ इक्वल्स टू डब्ल्यू वन बाय कैपिटल एम एंड इन टू इज़ गिवन बाय डब्ल्यू टू बाय वेट बाय मॉलिक्यूलर वेट भारमु बाय अनुभारम यदा भारमु बाय मोलार द्रव्यराशि सोलारेटर P1 not minus 1 by P1 not is equal becomes W2 by 
m2 by w1 by 1. Therefore, we can write p1 naught minus p1 by 1 naught. So, this m1 comes to numerator m1 by m2 w2 by so, this can also be written as m2 is equal to p1 naught by p1 naught minus 1 m1 w1. So, from this equation, we can calculate the molar mass of a very So, got this. So, determination of what polar mass of so, so, dravitam yukka polar mass ni manamu irakanga. So, got it according to Raoul's law, relative lowering of vapor pressure is given is equal to the mole fraction of the solute. So, we know very well the mole fraction is N2 by N1 plus N2. So, the Raoult's law is applicable for generally for the dilute solutions. Therefore, we can say that here this N2 is far less than N1 and this this N2 will be neglected in the denominator. Then you will be N1 to pull stay N2 will be neglected than one. Neglect Chao Chu. Sarvata, we can write like this. So, by substitution of these values, N1 is equal to moles of number of moles of solvent, N2 is equal to number of moles of solute. So, by substitution of these values, we can get this one. From this uh, equation, we can calculate the, we can calculate what? We can calculate the molar mass.